guys. So I'm here today with my scentful for the month of February and my lemonade box for the month of February. You know how much I love them. I'm going to get straight into them. I've done some really long videos just lately, so I'm going to try <laughs> and make this just sort of quick. <laughs> Not very good at that, mind. You obviously didn't see January's lemonade box because I wasn't filming, So, but I don't think we'll recap it. <laughs> it was very good as usual. Let's just leave it there, shall we? So as you know, Lemonade is a monthly box. I'm always so impressed with this lot because it's not expensive and they get the most different things, you know? It's always beautifully wrapped. It says thank you on the tissue paper. You open it up and you get a thought for the month or it used to be called a monthly mission. I don't think they do call it that anymore. And a leaflet, which I mean, I love that they're still bothering to do the leaflet. I know we're all supposed to be saving trees and things, but who can be bothered? looking up apps and things like that to find out about stuff so for february it says january is over and we're super excited to welcome february with you guys this month is known for being all about showing and receiving love so of course we want you to be sure that you tell all your loved ones how much they mean to you but that's not all we want you to show yourself lots of love too now on to your mission this month we want you to practice mindfulness oh, I'm hopeless at mindfulness. I do try. Mindfulness is the quality of being present and fully immersed in what we're doing at that moment. If you're washing up, really focus on the task and think about each dish as you go. If you're watering your plants, take a close look at the leaves and notice the varying shades of green. Try to be free from distraction and aware of your thoughts and feelings in each moment. By doing this, we lower our stress levels, improve focus, and we're kinder to our mind. As always, we're rooting for you. I love mindfulness. I love the idea of mindfulness. And I always admire people that do it and can practice it and can really be... But I'm one of these people, my mind's on several things at once. I mean, when I'm washing the dishes, I've got the radio on. So I'm usually singing and dancing while I'm doing the dishes. You know, I'm, I'm a... There's got to be things going on. I'm always more than one thing at a time. Even, you know, when I'm watching TV, I'll be knitting or, you know. So I would love to be the sort of person that can just slow down, can step back and think about the moment. But it's not in me. So I'm going to have another go. I have stabs at it all the time. And it reminds me to have a go. By the way, look at my roots. Aren't they awful? I can't think where my next appointment is, but it must be soon because, I mean, if I was still home dying, I would be dying this by now. I'm actually thinking of going more of a brown this time, just to, I don't know, shake it up a bit. I'm not entirely sure. Let me know whether you think I should stay with this sort of um, coppery colour, ginger, orange, as my grandkids call it, or whether I should tone it back down a little bit. Let me know. Anyway, let's get into the mini box. And this was supposed to be quick. Whoa. Okay, first up is, yeah, MD Hair Customised Hair Care Serum. Now, how is it customised? This is a one month supply and it's called Restore. So it's customised to be Restore. I presume they do other styles. So what does it say? It's £44 for a bottle of this. Our first spoiler for February was the MD Hair Restore Serum. This plant-based serum treats your scalp and helps grit, gray, <laughs> helps hair grow <laughs> through thick and strong. Dermatologist, dermatologist, oh, dermatologist formulated and tested. This vegan, sulfate-free, alcohol-free, fragrance-free and colour-safe formula uses potent DHT blockers to stimulate the hair follicles for stronger, thicker hair. In addition, it includes... FOTI root extract to improve scalp health and help prevent premature greying. Well, I'm so grey. I mean, I like the sound of that though. I mean, I do think it's something I could have a go of. It says fill the dropper, apply it directly to the scalp, evenly dispense the serum and massage it into your scalp with your fingertips. When the hair dries, brush the hair out to regain its fluffiness apply once to twice per day well now i wasn't expecting that that you put it in rub it round, let it dry and and brush it out i was not expecting that so i'm in i'm gonna give that a go next is 
Ooh, it's a big one. Grums Raw Coffee Hand Scrub and Wash, 15 pounds. It is, it's a decent sized tube, this. How much is in there? 120 ml, so imagine. Um, raw Coffee Hand Scrub is a two-in-one hand scrub and hand wash with a blend of recycled coffee grounds and pure natural ingredients. This vegan scrub can be used on your hands, feet, elbows, knees, and anywhere with tougher skin to deeply exfoliate and buff away dry or dead skin cells, leaving your skin clean, soft, and glowing. In addition, this scrub stimulates blood circulation that decreases inflammation and visible signs of aging and improves your skin's ability to absorb lotion and cream. Made from sugarcane plastic and can be recycled as normal. Now, do you know, when I read that it was a hand scrub, I was going to say, oh, I don't want this. This is going to go in a giveaway. But if I can use it on my knees, I get very um, dry patches on my knees. I do a lot of kneeling, a lot of crawling around, <laughs> playing with the kids and things. And for some reason, I've got slightly bony knees and I get this little patch on each knee, which is really hard skin. So I will try this on it, I think. Um, it's got a cap on it, but I am going to use it. So I'll just see ha -ha, if I can get it off and I'll tell you. Right, let's just put a tiny, ooh, look at that. <laughs> I know it's childish, but doesn't that look horrible? Um, it's got, a, it's got a, a mild coffee smell, it has. Let's just rub that about and see if it changes. Yeah, it goes more creamy. Can you see it changing color? As I'm rubbing it, it's sort of releasing the lotion oh gosh it's getting more coffee you can smell the grounds oh that's really interesting i would definitely use that on my knees so i'm quite happy to have that i was going to say well i'm not made in denmark so grums must be a danish brand oh i've got my stuff everywhere now i shall leave it on the back of my hand anybody tuning in or flicking through are going to be like what is that poo she's got on her hand <laughs> next is Oh, incense sticks. Now that's a new one. Never had those before. Hello Glow Burning For You incense sticks, one ninety nine. It's been a long time coming, but we finally managed to team up with Hello Glow again and bring you their brand new incense sticks just in time for Valentine's Day. Well, I'm actually opening this quite a long time after Valentine's Day, but that's my fault. Um, a sensual blend of Nerily, Lemon, Pineapple and Peach leading to Jasmine. Oh, that sounds lovely. This combined with rich musks, patchouli oil and cedar wood is sure to boost your spirits and leave your home smelling gorgeous. If you do not have an incense burner, try using them on a heat proof surface or pop, prop them up in a clean dry soda can. Remember, blow out the flame after a few seconds of lighting to allow them to burn slowly. Well, I'm really up for this, actually. Yeah, narrowly lemon, pineapple and peach leading to jasmine. I haven't used anything like this for a very long time, and I'll tell you for why. I had a very dopey dog. You've never met her. She's long gone, bless her. But she had a bit of a thing about um, anything that gave off like a smoke or a steam. Okay. And she'd go after it and so for example at one time I have one of these things that puffs fragrant air up she'd drive her mad she'd be pacing and getting very worked up well she was the same with incense sticks and one day I couldn't quite believe it she actually managed to sort of scrabble up and get hold of one and she burnt a little face not a lot I have to say but she did. I couldn't believe that she'd managed to get to it. I thought, you know, it's well out of the way, blah, blah, blah. She must have, I don't know, built herself a ladder. I still, to this moment, don't understand how she did it, but she did. Um, and it, you know, it burnt the fur and it didn't give her a little, little burn on her face because she snafooed on it. Um, and after that, I banned them in the house because I just thought she's so determined. It, it winds her up so much. So it is a hell of a long time because, I mean, we're talking about key and key. We lost key before we even moved here. So it's a long time ago. Anyway, they smell gorgeous. They smell like lovely washing. You know, some of these um, comfort all in all, you know, some of those smell amazing. Oh, they smell lovely. I am looking forward to that because, you know, I just have never thought that 
I now can do this. <laughs> it just got banned and that was that. So there we go. Then we have a free gift of some Ollie's pretzel thins. We've been looking at the feedback from our subscriber, subscriber survey and we found that lots of you love getting a free tasty treat. So we're going to try and include them more often for you. This month is a vegan snack from Ollie's pretzels in either oh so cheesy or sour cream and onion. And I've got oh so cheesy, which is great. Either one of those I'd like. I like the idea of this. Um, what does it say? Calories per 35 gram bag. Oh. Oh no, that's not bad, 117 calories. That's not bad, that is sort of an allowable, for a lot of people, I mean, I'm not on a diet, but if you were, that's sort of an allowable snack, isn't it, 117? Mine feels slightly crushed. Let me open them. Let's open them, let's have a look. Ollie's pretzel thins. Am I right in thinking, yeah, they're quite broken up. No, I'll pour some into my hand, I don't know why I'm, so you can see that they break obviously because they are thin but let's try one. Ooh. Oh my goodness <laughs> if you like things like cheesy doritos and oh my goodness me they are lovely absolutely lovely I will be buying more of those I just noticed in the bottom of the box there's a whole leaflet about that hair restore. Next up, Duval's Citrus Argan Body Oil. Now, this is Alicia Duval, isn't it? Sorry. <laughs> Stuck in my teeth. I actually like her argan oil, I have to say. I've never come across it scented. This is citrus. But her basic argan oil, I've used for a very, very long time. It's very good value because it does last for a hell of a long time. And you can put it on your hair and you can use it on chapped lips. You can obviously slather it all over your body. So I always have a bottle of just the basic Duval's Argan Oil. Um, this is £15. It's infused with a light and fresh sweet citrus scent with undertones of fresh lemon, mandarin and grapefruit oil for the body and bath. These uniquely and expertly blended nourishing and beneficial oils are enriched with organic first press cold Argan Oil. To moisturise and hydrate dry skin and hair. If you want to try something a little different, add a few drops to your bath. Absolutely. I swear by it. I don't use it every day. I don't use it every week. But if I get a chapped anything or a chafed anything or a sore anything, out comes my argan oil. And that is my oil of, cho cho oil of choice for a while. Um, but let's have a sniff. Oh, that smells nice very citrusy i'm gonna put a tiny drop on my hand away from the coffee yep it's just like all the others yeah very very citrusy in fact for me too citrusy even though i've i've done because it's a pipette and a dropper this will go in a giveaway because it's too too much lemon for me you know what i'm like about lemon it's too much lemon in that for me if it was more orange and grapefruit but I'm guessing the lemon scent really strongly. And as I say, I've got the one that I like, which is just unscented. It's just, you know, it's pure, but I really rate this. I, I Alicia, Alicia Duval is one of those people that you're like, mm. but she stumbled upon argan oil and it's good stuff. Okay, and then last but not least is a, well, yeah, is a Monuskin Flash Relax mask couldn't say what's funny is they've spelt it they've put renew skin rather than monu skin and i was like eh? <laughs> but it is it's the same thing we're talking about this is 34.95 now i like a lot of the monu skin products this mask works to smooth fine lines while firming facial contact i mean they all promise that don't they um a careful combination of ginseng and magnesium and i rate magnesium gently relaxes the muscles to provide a smoothing and lifting effect to ensure skin looks and feels toned and tightened whilst vitamin c and b5 naturally enhances the skin's radiance to use apply once or twice a week to clean skin avoiding delicate eye and lip areas massaging well then leave for five to ten minutes slight tingling may be experienced now i am really pleased with this um as i say i've got quite a few monu skin products and i enjoy them 
I've never before though come across a magnesium cream for your face. I have one that I used basic magnesium spray-ons and things like that but I have one from is it Noom it's called I think it's Noom and that's a magnesium body butter cream that I use but I've never yet come across one that's for your face so again I'm gonna have a sniff let's see if I can I've got this coffee all over my you can't see I've got this coffee. oh it's dried now so <laughs> it stained me to wash my hands really well later so I'll put it on my other hand if I can get some to come out and let's just see Oh, there we go. Right, it comes out as a clear, sort of like a gel, really. Let's close that again, otherwise I'll squeeze it everywhere. Oh, it smells really nice. Oh, that's lovely. But, oh, why am I showing you the back of my hand? It smells absolutely gorgeous. I don't know what the scents are in it. It didn't say, it said it had ginseng and magnesium in it, but it didn't say what the scents were. But, oh, that smells absolutely gorgeous it's marine magnesium in it as well so i'm really pleased with that this has been a really good box so obviously the manu oh i keep calling it manu skin the monu skin for 34.95 which is brilliant and the duvals which as i say i will put in a giveaway just because i don't like the scent i love argan oil but don't like the scent the coffee scrub which much too harsh for my hands, I have to say, but for my knees, yes. And the Hair Renew product, Customised Hair Care Serum, which I'm going to do some more reading about. And then, of course, the, um, what do they call them? Uh, incense sticks. Inc <laughs> and let's not forget about the absolutely stunning Ollie's Pretzel Thins. They really are lovely. Really are lovely. Guys, those pretzels are absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> I've been munching away, <laughs> staring into space for the last two minutes. Right, my scentful for February 2022. Inside I have Moogla, Alien Goddess, and Karl Lagerfeld, Fleur d'Orchidie. So, Moogla. Let's go with Moogla. I had a friend that always used to wear, oh no. I thought, was it Ghost was was a Moogla scent? I might be completely wrong now. All right. Let's go for it. Oh, it's very pretty on the first, first notes. That is very pretty. Now, one of you wrote in to say, don't rub the perfume. So I'm not rubbing the perfume. Okay. That's nice. That's quite heavy. Quite strong perfume. I would say it's, at the moment, it smells like an evening perfume, but it could fade back. Moogla Alien Goddess is a divine eau de parfum for the woman who is in perfect harmony with her body and soul. The fragrance opens with the radiant revelation of Italian bergamot, followed by the intense solar flower jasmine grandiflorum. This revelation unveils the addictive fullness of bourbon vanilla, with balsamic to tonalities that delights the senses. <laughs> I love the way they write about them. So it's an oriental, because it's got that heaviness that oriental has. I do like a good oriental. With a top of bergamot and coconut water, a heart of jasmine and heliotrope, and a base of bourbon vanilla and cashmere. I like that. I do like that. I think that's the first oriental that I've had in a in a scentful box that I've thought was nice. That's really lovely. It's got that very heavy, sort of saturated floral. Um, I would say if you're someone that gets headaches from perfumes, this probably isn't for you because it is a very, almost like a thick smell. Do, do you know what I mean? It is very nice though. Okay, moving on to the Karl Lagerfeld Fleur d'Orchidie. Okay. Oh. Two squirts the same. This is much more subtle compared to the, the Oriental. Hmm. 
it says Karl Lagerfeld Fleur de Orchidee is a fresh sensual eau de parfum for everyday wear it is definitely because it's not strong luminous grapefruit and spicy narrowly light up oh. try that line again luminous grapefruit and spicy narrowly light up a contrasting floral blend of orchid and jasmine with a sensual trail of patchouli and tonka bean a scent created to be the essential piece in an olfactory wardrobe the orchid's smooth petals recall the soft feel of suede so it's a floral with a top of grapefruit narrowly and pink pepper a heart of jasmine orchid and apricot and a base of patchouli cedar and tonka bean so let's see how much it's changed now it's nice do you know it's nice it's there's nothing wrong with it it's light i mean it is it's a very nice perfume is it stand out fabulous not convinced on that one but it is a very very nice perfume let me go back to this one yeah i mean this is day and nice and they're gorgeous they are gorgeous perfumes so those both get a big thumbs up from me Actually, this one is really growing. This much lighter one, the Karl Lagerfeld Fleur d'Orchidie. It is growing on me. I think, you know, we've gone down now into the orchid and the apricot and the, you know, and all of that. So that is growing on me. Well, there you go. Both perfumes I like. Now I've had, um, I've had a box with n neither of them I liked, but usually it's only one, but both of these I like very different, insanely different. But both absolutely gorgeous. I love my scentful. I really do. It's one of those little things that I just, I get so much delight out of. <laughs> but easily pleased. Anyway, that's me. This was supposed to be a really short video. Can you believe I've been rambling at you now for 26 minutes? So I'm going to have to edit the heck out of this to try and get it down because I wanted it to be a quick one. <laughs> I hope you're all well and I hope you're happy. Thank you for coming and seeing me again. And, um, Take care, guys. Bye.